Bhakti, we heard uh, Swamiji talking about uh, Vivek Disha and the uh, tremendous amount of work that has uh, happened. It is amazing to see that. Well, you see, for me, um, when I say education, I say education is diamond. Uh, because diamond is so much precious for us. What is e-learning then? E-learning is something, you know, which uh, probably uh, polishes this. And our system, I consider that as the platinum because that is what sets. Because unless you have a system, you cannot have this e-learning. So these three things to be integrated. One is your education, the e-learning, as well as the system. Now, what we understood from um, what he has shown, as on similar lines, I would also like to say that, you know, um, I believe in uh, mass learning. Because when mass learns, we all develop together. And that development together uh, probably also develops our nation and globally we develop. Because we have to grow. And the growth has to take place everywhere. So, now what has e-learning given us? E-learning has made things easy for us. When I was teaching, every day, you know, my subject is economics. And uh, when I was teaching through uh, the chalk and board method, when I was teaching microeconomics, it was a challenge for me because every day in the evening I would sit down with what I would be teaching the next day and uh, how I would be explaining uh, the concepts to the students who are just hardly 16 or 17 years of age. Now, had I had this you know, resource, uh, things would have been very easy. Uh, the concepts that we were uh, showing there, those concepts, it was coming as a part of e-learning, then you know, to approach to the students, it becomes uh, easier. Even geometry, when you teach geometry, uh, some of the teachers we would see would make some, uh, you know, projects and get it to class, but not all. So, what we learned was the formula. We did not know how it was happening. We did not know how the cylinders, you know, when we uh, had the formulas, how we were getting those. Like pi, we knew there was a formula. We knew. LCM and HCF, you know, HCF, but we did not know why we needed to know, uh, you know, LCM or why we needed to know HCF. But through e-learning, this has become possible because when we are using that 40 minutes of class, certain things are already there. I don't have to spend time on that. And then it becomes easy for me to explain as a facilitator. So as he has already said, that the students who are uh, slow learners, we are also teaching them. And we are bringing them to a level where we are also giving them confidence. Because this confidence is very important amongst the students. We are giving them a, a, an identity of their own where they are able to believe in themselves which earlier probably this was not happening. What else uh, happens? With this e-learning, there are a lot of intrinsic costs. Intrinsic costs are costs which are hidden, which we cannot see. Probably we are going for tuition, we are going for, uh, you know, we are visiting from one place to another. So there is a cost which is incurred. With this system, the cost is also reducing. And if I also go by the economics, uh, parallelly, there is a lot of sectors which are growing with uh, this e-learning. Uh, teachers are being utilized in another way. Because the question will come here that well, with e-learning, what happens to the teachers? I'm sure many of the teachers are here. So you must be thinking that what happens because Peter Drucker has uh, probably quoted somewhere that, well, we will not have any more, there will be nobody in the university because everybody will be doing distance learning. So what happens to universities like, uh, you know, Oxford or Cambridge? They are beautiful universities. Do we forego the teachers? No. Because there is a lot of content 
but we also need to see how this content will be used. For that, we need the teachers. We need the systems. For that, we need the administrators. And uh, obviously, schools would be probably designed in a different way. What we see as classrooms today uh, will not be there as uh, you know, just the system of where somebody comes and lectures. It will be more interactive where we have group discussions and uh, we um, probably interact with one another, we exchange our views, there is a lot of peer learning. Now, uh, Sri Shikshayadan uh, School, you know, I would like to talk about this uh, school, what we've done over a, a few, um, maybe two or three years. We have an ERP system. Through the ERP system, uh, you know, everything is online. Even that students are taking admission, it is online. So the selection uh, procedure, 90% uh, is done. Only what is left is the human value because we need to meet people so and we value that. So we call people to interact. So that's the only portion which is left but rest everything is done from collection of the admission fee, the application money, all their details, everything is done. Our teachers, our teachers have, uh, you know, they have to design their programs. So when they go home, they can actually um, do their work through the cloud system. So even sitting at home, they can complete their work uh, from home. We have two of our teachers here. Um, so they can, I think, um, share their, uh, you know, whatever they are doing. Uh, so this is also something which we have added uh, over the years. Uh, yes, there are smart boards. Uh, I'm sure most of the schools have these smart boards. We are also planning to have uh, these tablets. I think when we were small, we had these slates where we, we would be working at home. Our uh, parents would be teaching us through the slate method. So now we have these tablets. And one of the schools I visited very recently at Rajasthan, you know, it was amazing to see that all the students were sitting there with a tablet and they were working on it. And the teacher was basically having the questions done on, uh, you know, the board, how we saw the center board. And the students were answering and she was getting all the results on her board. So she was interacting in that method because some students, you see, they do not speak. They would be very contented with whatever you are saying. So they may be very good at this work. So we are basically tapping multiple intelligence, which Harvard Gardner has talked about. We are talking about unique potential that students have, and we are trying to find out the best in the child. I think with this uh, thing, which uh, whatever I have shared with you, I will uh, end my uh, talking. And I think uh, what we are aiming at, that with internet, with this e-learning, we will have amazing thing. And I think in the next 30 to 40 years, there will be a difference in whatever we see. And we are all going to be part of it and we are all going to grow. Uh, I think I hand over the mic to uh, Professor Banerjee. And uh, I think you can continue.